Imagine this. You're on stage. You're rolling. You're in a groove. You're connected with the audience. Your message is flowing out. And then all of a sudden, you forget what you are going to say. What do you do? Has this ever happened to you? If it hasn't, don't worry. It will. I know that's really encouraging, but if you speak enough, it's going to happen. It happened to me once in front of 450 people in a high pressure situation, and I felt awful. In fact, I'll never forget it. 450 people were looking at me. I was rolling along, going, all, I was all over the stage, and all of a sudden, I lost it. And for several seconds, the only thing that was going on in my head was, get off stage, run now. But then in the back of the room, I saw a couple of people who specifically had helped me so much with this presentation, and I knew I couldn't do that to them. So I finished the speech. I don't, couldn't tell you to this day, and that was 16 years ago. I <laughs> don't know what I said. It was met with uh, polite applause. I sat down and felt awful. Here are two valuable lessons I learned from that experience. Number one, when you get stuck, move to some other part of the stage. There's something about movement that knocks that brain out of that frozen state it's in. I've had several successful speakers tell me that whenever that happens to them, just move. Pick a different spot, and a lot of times that will, will trigger you to remember what you were going to say. The second thing is, keep note cards in your pocket. Now, I'm not saying write out your whole speech, but have bullet points. Audiences will never get upset with you if you do something like this when you're, you've got that brain freeze going on. Pardon me a second. I'm having one of those moments. Yep, that's it. This is what I wanted to tell you. And you go right on with the rest of your presentation. Now, if you do that seven or eight times, yeah, they're going to get a little irritated. The oranges and tomatoes may start flying. I don't know. But audiences will love you and respect you because you cared enough about them, not to try to impress them with your memorization skills, but because you cared enough about them to stop, admit that you had a, a brain fart, if you will, you looked it up, and moved right on with the presentation. So what should you do the next time? And there will be a next time. It happens to everyone, even the best. What do you do the next time your brain freezes? Number one, move to a different part of the speaking area. And if that doesn't work, have cards ready that you can reach into your pocket, pull out, take a quick glance at, and then move on with your presentation. Do this, and audiences will love you and they'll respect you because you, they'll know that you're there for them. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.